Hey everybody, welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today, we'll be adding on to the circuit that we put together last week, and it's going to look a little similar, but instead of having one potentiometer, we're going to have three, and each one of them will be used to control each of the three duty cycles on the three pins of an RGB LED. So let's go take a look at it. All right, so I've already got this put together. We've got our three potentiometers right here. Um, we do still have the PCF8591 down here in the middle. And I want to point out these three colored uh, wires here in the back. I've got a red, green, and blue, each of them corresponding to one of the potentiometers. And they're wired to the PCF right over here. I'm going to throw up a picture of the data sheet so you can get a better look at how this works. The red wire right here goes to the analog input zero, and then we have green that goes to input one, and the blue wire goes to input number two, zero, one, and two. You can have up to four inputs on the PCF8591. So they go into the chip over here in the back side, and then we use the SDA pin um, number nine on the data sheet. That's this orange wire right here. Comes into the Pi right over here where we can interface with our uh, three inputs to control the RGB right there. And I think that's it for this. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you. Okay, so here we are with our VNC. I've got the code put together here. Um, most of this looks very similar to last week. We've got our import here for SM bus and time. We've got our address and the bus defined. Uh, if you don't know how to set that up, please refer to last week's video. We've got each of our RG pins defined right here. And we've got a function here set up to read our three analog channels. We've got this one here to write it, convert it from digital to analog, and send it back to the RGB LED. And this is just going to be the variation of the duty cycle. And then it's also going to be printing out the values right down here so you can see what the value on each of the potentiometers actually is. So let's run this and see how it goes. Right now everything is set to zero. I'll make this a little bit bigger for you. Okay, each of the values here is set to zero, so it's white, but once we start changing these, you see the values here start to go up on the green pin and the blue pin, and then if I wanted to change this one, if all the values are at 255, that's essentially black, so the LED turns off. But by changing these, you can pretty much get any color you want. That's about all there is to it. Um, with these potentiometers, it's kind of been an introduction to um, analog, converting it to digital, and then back to analog so that we can do stuff with it. Um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'll be looking at some more practical applications with um, analog and digital conversions. Next week is going to be um, a light sensor or a, a photoresistor. And then we'll be looking at a temperature sensor and a joystick over the next few weeks. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go to my channel and subscribe. We'll see lots more videos like this. Um, also, would love to read your comments, so type away below. And I'll talk to you guys all later. Thanks.